The producers have no financial interest in the subject matter of this film. DMEC stands for Desmet Membrane Endothelial Keratoplasty, has been a dream for all corneal surgeons. The reason being, it allows performing a corneal graft without the inconvenience of astigmatism that can arise due to corneal sutures and with a significantly low rate of rejection. Furthermore, it allows an extremely fast visual recovery. Why is this a dream? The reality is a little bit more complicated. As with all surgical procedures, each step in DMEC can have its own complications. The first step consists of dissection of an endothelial graft. This is a crucial step since a failure will result in the cancellation of the surgery. There are different techniques available to perform manual dissection. We choose the no-touch technique developed by Dr. Meles in Rotterdam. The name no-touch technique is derived from the process of dissection where the injected and transplanted region remains untouched by any surgical instrument except the trephine. No-touch dissection is performed by the ablation of pigment residues surrounding the periphery of endothelium with a hocustic blade. Then, the plane of dissection is opened all around the periphery. The movement of the spatula is horizontal. The spatula is perpendicular to the cornea. This is a critical step because you have to be sure that there is no adherence between the stroma and the desmet membrane that could result in a tear during the endothelial desmet detachment, rendering the graft unusable. Hence, the endothelial desmet membrane is detached around the cornea with an excess of 2 mm with the ocastic blade. Then, we check that the edges of the graft are free and without any adherences by watering with BSS. The third step consists of detaching the endothelial desmet with a single-use DMEC preparation forceps by a vertical movement. This forceps allows an excellent gripping strength. In addition, thanks to its flat inside and smooth edges, it avoids tearing the graft. The graft is replaced and centered on the stroma to be refined. It's really important that it's totally smoothed out to guarantee the regular double wall formation. With this technique of dissection, the endothelium is facing outward of the roll. That's why a direct gripping is forbidden. Indeed, a simple contact with a pair of forceps can induce an important endothelial cell loss. Hence, even during the positioning of the graft in the injector, the graft is sucked up by a, an irrigation system and not pulled by a forceps. It's important that the graft is folded as a double roll and not as a single, to facilitate its progress within the anterior chamber. It's more difficult to unfold and center a single roll because it will tend to turn around in the anterior chamber, thereby losing the orientation of the graft. After the graft preparation, the second time of surgery can begin. First, the desmetorexis is performed under air to guarantee the best visibility of the removed endothelial desmet. A solid hydrosuture of the principal incision will allow the preservation of the waterproofness during this step. On your right, you can appreciate the intraoperative OCT quality, which allows checking the complete ablation of the endothelial desmet. The last surgical step consists of injecting the graft. One of the keys for the success of this step is the pressure regulation of the anterior chamber. The latter should not contain any air bubble and must be almost flat, what allows the injection of the liquid present in the injector without a risk of hyperpressure. The second secret to avoid the graft reversal in the anterior chamber, even its eviction, is a pressure regulation in anterior chamber and the creation of a moderate flow between the principal and secondary incisions. So, 
The secondary incision is slightly opened simultaneously than the regular injection of the graft. Hence, the graft, while it's moving forward in a regular way, will be unfolded by remaining centered. There are multiple techniques that are used to unfold the graft. Our technique is known as tap-tap, which is performed by taping slightly on the cornea by making a smooth movement from the center to the periphery. Even here, the entire chamber should be relatively flat, otherwise the graft will remain walled out. The intraoperative OCT can be a precious help, in particular when the graft doesn't correctly unfold. It allows checking the correct orientation of the graft. The last time consists in injecting the air to remain the graft. Here, a solid hydrostructure is useful to maintain the incision waterproofness. In addition, the air injection should be performed with perfect centering. A decentered injection will be responsible for a shift and faults of the graft. The intraoperative OCT is very helpful and allows checking the perfect positioning of the graft. After showing the dream, let me show you the DMEX surgery behind the curtain. Although it's a dream, the technique involves a steep learning curve and is often filled with surprises. The technique of dissection required training on about 15 corneas that were not eligible for transplantation. During this learning phase, 20% of dissection presented tears. The training has helped us improve the failure of dissection to around 6%. You can see here an example of a tear. The graft injection in the anterior chamber can also be delicate. Here you can see a typical example of a root eviction of the transplant during injection. This occurs when the opening of the secondary incision does not counterbalance the pressure of injection. Once the injection has been performed, the graft unfolding can sometimes turn out to be difficult. Here you can appreciate a rebel graft, which absolutely does not want to unfold. It's abdicated after 15 minutes of intense in fight, also the age of the graft was 35 years. It's necessary to be aware that younger the donor is, the more elastic is the desmet membrane, thus the graft will be more difficult to unfold. Now we use graft from donors who are more than 45 years old. With this movie, we hope to have shared with you our enthusiasm on this magnificent corneal technique, in spite of its difficulties. Thank you.